girl. You're fine, lady. Okay there. You ain't a tourist, so I'm guessing you're a bounty hunter. Posters usually go up on that wall there. Hmm. Word is he's made a home out of an old mine up in the Big Valley Mountains. But you might want to leave that one on the wall. Josh Brown to be a hard man to kill, let alone capture. And that's what we're asking for. Got half the bounty hunters in the state out looking for him. I want your advice, I'll ask for it, okay? Okay, Joshua Brown, give it to me. He's a killer. Got away with it for the most part, too. Legal kills. But if you walk that line, you're gonna step over it at some point, and that what he done. If this man's dangerous, why I gotta bring him in alive? He brought us some bounties in the past, and he's always been decent. If you don't want to bring him in breathing, you leave this alone. Stay safe out there. Well, what's eating you, partner? Eating me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll dry up. See, I'm, uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Uh, there's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing to me. Uh, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. These little rock carvings. Yeah, exactly. Little rock carvings. 
What do you want to do with them? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You what? Drunk? Are you? No, huh? I wish. No, I'm uh lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Well, I sort of need them. Hey, listen. If you find them, I'll pay you handsomely. Send me details if you can. Here's my card. If I can't? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can. Francis Sinclair. John Marston. Pleasure. But I don't understand. What are you going to do with these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. The what? I'm going to have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you. If... Eh, but, hey, what harm could it do? What a lunatic. Come on, lady. Easy there. Head up. Dead in. <laughs> you got nowhere to go, bounty hunter. I ain't here to kill you. <laughs> Wouldn't matter if you were. There's only one way out of here, and that's through me. Come easy. I'll say something to the law. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You might have found me. But you won't beat me, bounty hunter. Go! 
Ain't your day, mister. Let's tie up that shooting arm. Let's see what you got in here. Going back to Strawberry. Shot me. You didn't even have a decency to do it right. You duel a man and you fought. For a man with a bullet in him, you talk a lot. younger days. I would have put one in the middle of your eyes before you even blinked. Take a nap, old man. I wish you killed me back there. A real man would have killed me. Kind of regret not killing you. That's Big Josh, all right. Hey, he looks heavy. Can we take that bounty off of you? I can manage him fine. Guess I'm all yours. I don't deserve this. 
this. I deserve to go up. I don't deserve to have to listen to this. Hey! Here we are, Strawberry. I hear the cells here are really comfortable. You trying to be winsome, bounty hunter? Always. I'm a regular charmer. Now come on. Got Brown here. Ah, Mr. Brown. Come on now. Make him comfortable downstairs. about me. Now, leave me to my peace. Pay's right here. You make you work for it? He dealed me, so I'd say that's a yes. <laughs> Lucky you're still here. That's fine.
one show kindness on a man with no say. Help a blind man. Okay, sure. Two strangers seek thee. One from this world. Perhaps one from another. One brings hatred. I'm not so sure what the other brings. Okay. I guess I'll bear that in mind. You're a good girl now. It's all going to play. Get a hot meal, all right? Yeah, this is for you. Too kind, fella. I used to be a man once. You know, a wife, career. Now look at me. Worse than nothing. A filthy, worthless joke. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork.
There you are, Missy. Help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it. That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Ah, it's you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Mm-hmm. 
Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> I'm just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a... Uh, Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Syllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you, and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John. <laughs> 
The Rock Farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Thank you.